Alright, so what I've done is ordered a gun off of PB Nation, a Shocker, SFT, for about $225. And with that, I got a hybrid Virtue with Victory Board Hopper. The gun has a couple of small upgrades to it, mostly stock, um, a case for it, uh, a mask, a couple hoppers, some decals, a pod pack. So I got a pretty good deal off of uh, PB Nation. And the video you're about to watch is me transforming that gun into the best shocker in the world, basically. And that's not an opinion. That's a fact. So we're going to go ahead and tag along with myself and uh, my girlfriend today as uh, she'll be doing some video for me and uh, watching the transformation of this gun. All right, this was just unboxed from uh, PB Nation, and we're going to get ready to take it down to the pro shop, and I'm going to deck this thing completely out. This was supposed to be a gift from my little brother, but I found him an epiphany for dirt cheap, and I'm a big shocker guy, so this is my new pet project. Um, it's a SFT shocker. The only thing that it has on it right now that is not stock is the uh, hyper regulator. All right, so what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to take it and I'm going to put a quick lock feed neck on it because that's the only one that has the only thing that really has damage on the gun. And you can tell whoever tried to put it on uh, must have used a pair of uh, vice grips or a pair of channel locks and just grinded it on. But other than that, the gun is flawless. There's not a scratch on it. It's an amazing looking gun. So what I'm going to add to it is. A, a, probably a CP trigger, a new trigger for sure, a uh, CP ASA, I'm going to put a gauge right there, put a virtue board in the handle, quick lock feed neck, and I'm going to put a hybrid back cap on it, and I'm not sure if this has the HE bolt in it yet, I haven't taken it apart, I just got it out of the box, but if it doesn't have an HE bolt, I'll put an HE bolt in it, and this came from Jordan Bettit up in Canada, and uh, on PB Nation, great trader, great seller, and uh, I'm going to make him jealous that uh, he sold this gun to me, because I'm going to turn it into one of the best guns in the United States of America. All right. So this is a, this is the deal I got. I think it's a pretty good deal. I got the uh, the Shocker with uh, two All-American backs in the tip with the class uh, custom regulator, hey, Halo V35 with the Victory Board hybrid shell, and it's got the uh, it's got the uh, hybrid back, the uh, West Coast Killers back there. And uh, it's got a rip drive on it. It's really nice. All right, so there's that. Uh, barrel plug, an extra mask, a pod pack with a pod, a bunch of stickers he just threw in, and there's a drop there on the ground too, and a uh, squeegee. I got all that for two th 235 bucks. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start out with our $235 project, and we're going to turn it into a $600 killing machine. All right, I'll see you at the pro shop. Alright, we're on our way down to the pro shop right now, and uh, I got the gun in the back. My uh, girls videotaping if I don't hit the Chevy Silverado in front of me and make it there. Alright, I'm gonna go down there and uh, buy the parts for the gun. And uh, if it's free installation, I'll probably just have the paintball tech uh, put them in for me. But if not, I'll uh, return to my home and I'll be putting them in myself, which uh, I'm fine with doing that. I'm in, uh, working the insides and outsides of paintball guns since I was about 12, so uh, it should be a good experience. So we'll see what happens. Alright, we're here at the pro shop. So we're going to go ahead inside and uh... That'll look pretty sick too. Yeah, well, will. All right, I'm here at the pro shop right now. The first uh, upgrade we're putting on it is going to be the new Freak. So we're getting a Freak barrel front for it. And uh, I'm going to put uh, some more parts on it here. We're just here at the pro shop. This is my guy, Christian. He's the best when it comes to guns. And uh, so we're going to do some work, and then I'll let you know where we're at in a little bit. This is Dylan, working here at the Pro Shop. He's hooking me up with some parts right now. Christian's got the, uh, he's got the shocker back in the back with him, putting in the Virtue Board right now. 
So uh, once he comes back out, we'll uh, put some more uh, parts on it. I'm going to throw a, C or a CPASA on it, a new quick lock feed neck, uh, probably throw a drop on it. And uh, we went with the purchase, got a freak to uh, make the gun look sweet. So that'll be on there. And uh, we'll probably get rid of this old drop and uh, put a new one on. Then we'll uh, throw the halo on it and uh, gas it up and we'll see how it shoots. All right, so Christian just brought the gun back out. This is what it's looking like so far. It, uh, we got the new gauge on it. It's the new mini gauge. It's really nice. Freak back, quick lock feed neck, virtues in the handle grips, um, CP uh, ASA. Nice little drop forward there. It's looking fly. It's looking nice. So uh, I uh, went ahead and put the virtue sticker on the, uh, the halo there, and uh, we're going to keep messing around with it for a little bit. Got the techie uh, um, put working on the virtue board right I'll now. I'll tell you what. How about uh, go back in about 15, 20 minutes? So walk back up here. Just paid. How much did we put into it? Um, five hundred thirty-seven dollars and fifty cents. It's gonna be mean. It's gonna be so mean. If you work and show the white mask and white layer, you could get them. Got some reballs to go home and show you guys. Some other people here looking. We're making a YouTube video project here. They're in it. They're in the pro shop. I was like, who are you talking about? Famous paintball players right here. All right. So we're going to see what's, uh, what's up. All right. Well, there's the old hopper. I just uh, received this trade. And I traded that in for that and 40 bucks for the new Empire Proficiency. So I have a couple of those now. Stuck it on the gun. This is what we got. This is what it looks like right now. It's mean looking. Uh, so I put, let's see, here's all the upgrades. New grips, Virtue, Virtue Eyes, Clamp Neck, Prophecy, Freak, all the inserts, CPSA, Drop, uh, Mini Reg. Um, that's it. There's a back cap ordered and a CP trigger ordered, and that'll be in soon. And uh, it's a stellar looking gun. And I just went out and fired it at uh, 22 BPS, and it shot ropes. And uh, I set it for, for uh, 18. So when I get home, we'll shoot it at uh, 18 BPS with some reballs, and I'll get to let you guys see how it fires. I couldn't uh, videotape it firing because we were in the back, and I was the one firing. I was the only one back there. So we'll do that when I get home. All right, we uh, just left the pro shop, and uh, I'm going to stop at TGI Fridays on the way in because I'm really hungry. I love Fridays. But uh, couldn't be more happier with the guys at 68 Caliber. They're all awesome dudes. They know exactly what they're doing. They're all uh, paintball techies. Uh, so we put uh, pretty much everything you could upgrade to the gun has been upgraded. Uh, I got some Virtue Eyes and a Virtue Board. Everything you have upgraded, completely upgraded, except for right now it still has the stock trigger in it. But I played around with some of the triggers in there, and I'll tell you what, I really like the stock trigger. Even after I order this in, I still might leave the stock trigger in there because it just it felt so good because on this model shocker, you can hit it from the front or from the sides of the trigger, and it'll still go off. So I really like that. And uh, I'm going to, uh, I might keep that in there. And the back, the back right now is in perfect condition. I don't know if I want to put a hybrid back on it yet, but we'll see what it looks like when it comes in. If it looks sweet, I might just leave it on there for looks, and uh, then I'll be able to screw it off with my hand. But, I mean, in all reality, you never take your back off in a game anyway. So, uh, I don't really know uh, what's going to happen, but I still order the parts in anyway. I still order them in just in case. And if I put them on there, it looks sweet, and I like it, we'll leave them on there. If not, then I'll just leave it the way it is. But right now, it's pretty much the nicest shocker I've ever shot as of right this second. So... Well, uh, after I eat and get home tonight, I'll uh, do a little reball test for you in the living room and uh, let you guys see what's up. All right.